Hello everybody, this is Sheldon from Shell Rock Art. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another adventure in paint pouring. Um, as of recently, I've been doing um, straight cloud pours, trying to get the feel of it, trying to gain more control of how the outcome um, turns out, depending on how I layer my cup. And I've been getting more and more successful. I'm still going to be doing those, but of course, a long time I've been doing blooms and of course I'll uh, sprinkle in there some dumping, dumping swirls, some swipes, some flip cups, even some pearl pours. So but I always go back to the bloom even for a little while before I go into the next technique. So because I went back to the bloom I decided because I haven't, do, haven't done a bloom for a long time I'm going to do a very special bloom, and that's what I did this time. So I'm going to let you take a look at it because to me, it's the biggest one I've ever seen done. And I'm so glad that I was able to successfully do it. So let me turn the camera around because it's too big for me to hold. But I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see exactly um, what it looks like. Can I do that? No. So. I will turn the camera around in one second. Okay, that's it right there. It's a 36 um, by 36 inch canvas. And I love the way it turned out. Check out how the, uh, I'm gonna bring it closer. So you see all the nice, beautiful jelly bean type cells in the center and the lacing. And it took me a long time to stretch this thing out. I had about 20 spins in the video, but I really love the way this piece uh, turned out. Now my wife, she wanted more of the white to come through, like more of the pillow, but because I added more yellow behind everything else, the yellow kind of took over, but that's okay. I think she still likes it though, so we're going to put this on our um, living room wall. But this is a 36 by 36 or three feet by three feet canvas. And it's a single bloom and not a double bloom. So I'm very happy with how this one turned out. So that now that you saw the bloom and the size of it, I'm going to um, take you over to, um, I would say the table, but actually I use a large puppy pool that did it on the floor. I had one fail in the pot in the process. It was a wonderful learning process, and there's some things you really must consider when you're doing a bloom of that size. So let's go and see how I did this bloom. Okay, bye bye. Hello, everybody. This is Sheldon from Sherlock Art. Welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be finally doing a pour that I've been waiting for um, probably two years to do. Um, I've been practicing, trying to figure some things out. And so I'm going to be doing the largest bloom I've ever done. And before we get into that, let me go over my colors with you. Um, my base is going to be the Glidden uh, Semi-Gloss White, um, Glidden Premium Semi-Gloss White. I thin it just a touch, just to help the paint flow a little bit. I always do that. And then I'm gonna go with um, some bare um, yellow in the center. My wife wanted some yellow in it, so I figured that I'm gonna have that as part of the um, pillow as well. So now the colors I'm gonna be using is, um, this is Baltic Amber from Color Art. Let me show you. Uh, the actual shimmer to that puppy right there. Got a nice shine to it, nice glisten. This is a prism pour color from Color Art called Baltic Amber. Uh, this one is called Golden Maple. And yes, I'll probably use all these colors, like every bit of it. This is called Winter Green. It's a prism pour color. It's a little thick. I'm gonna have to thin this down just a little bit in a minute. 
but that's the winter green. Set you aside over there. This one is called um, cranberry red, cran apple. Crab apple, sorry, I'll say cran. Think about ocean spray. This is called crab apple. This is a primary element from uh, uh, Color Art. See the shimmer in there too. Nice, pretty colors. You can see that close up. Good. And then I have Amsterdam Titanium White as a color. That's why I stick like this. And um, Lucas Krill Iron Oxide Black as my cell activator. And this is also, this is mixed with um, US Floetrol, not Australia. Okay? So there you have it. Those are my colors that I'm going to be using. And let me show you the canvas. Okay, there's the canvas I'm gonna be pouring on. It's a 36 by 36 canvas, so it's three feet by three feet. I already sprayed the back so it can tighten up. You hear that drum sound. And so I figured a big piece like this, if I pour a pillow in the center, uh, the color may have too much, paint may have too much weight to it. So I figured that let me just try to um, focus on pouring it off center. I'm sorry, in the center of this. In the center, but spinning it out. One second. going to take a lot of color. Okay. Two thirds covered in the center. Whew. Now, I'll add the yellow in the center of it. Start off my color palette. It sank a little bit, but that's okay. So because it sank a little bit, there's a lot of weight there. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna distribute some of this weight out first. Good. Let me slow you down a little bit. Okay. That kind of helps. You know, I don't know how much paint is underneath, but I definitely want to make sure this paint flows. So I'm gonna put a little more, more paint on this side just to make sure I have enough paint. I've not, never done a balloon this big before, so it's open to failure. But sometimes you gotta try things out. Okay, and there's my puddle of that one color in the room, in my art room. Is that green? All that out. It'll blow. It'll blow out. Even those little spots. Of color. color. Aqua Flash from Folk Art. Seems like everything's kind of sliding to one side. Let me tilt it back a little bit.
like I said, I'm using the bowl paints. So if this becomes a scrape or a waste, I'm not overly concerned. But I think this should work out. Not a lot of white, just a touch in the center to go underneath my selector data. That's all I want, right there. So let me come on this side where my uh, blow dryer is. Let's blow her up. Starting to sink in and sink through. I like it, but it's too much black. So let me um, mix a few colors up. I'm gonna get right back to it, okay? At least I got a first start on it. All right, so that didn't go too well. We'll try again. Hopefully this one will work out better. <coughs> I did get some nice cells over here, but they're not spread out as well as, well as I like. And over here, more of the black came up from underneath. So let me try again. Okay, folks. <coughs> Here I'm ha adding more pillow down. Um, I learned a few things from this last one. You see how they're black to the one side is because the cell activator actually got up under my colors because of the way I poured it. So I mixed some more colors. So now with this one, again, like I did with the first one, I put some more pillow down and then I spun it out. It was very important for me to um, see that my colors need to be at a not so thick on the canvas because the weight of the paint will cause the canvas itself to sag in a little bit, which makes that puddle a little bit deeper. And you don't want a deep puddle like that. And so I added some of the yellow. I could have added less yellow because the yellow kind of took had taken over um, on the finished result as you'll see but right now it just looked like a fried egg <laughs> anyway um i start adding my colors here the baltic amber and um, the rest of the colors and i already went over the colors with you before i'm just showing you how i put this together and then i'll be going into the part where um i start to um blow it out and the how I layered the cell activator you see how I'm holding the cup close um, the last time I held the cup up too high and when I when it dropped down in there it actually sunk underneath the pillow as soon as I poured it on so this time it stayed, stayed mostly on the surface and I was able to gently blow the cell activator out to cover up and to make some lacing. Even a little section right there where I went a little bit deep on the blow, 
I could practice the blow a little bit more if I do another one. But this is how this is turning out so far. And I'm going to show you this, but I end up spinning it probably about 20 times. But I didn't want you to wait for the whole full 20 times for me to spin this canvas. So even when I begin spinning it, I'm not going to go through all of the spins till this final um, uh, finished product. But right here, I'm just adding some swirls to some of the um, ugly spots that I think that could use some modification. I didn't want to wreck the whole thing, but I just wanted to get the areas where the cells didn't really develop too much. And there were some wiggly areas that looked kind of ugly. So I just want to make sure that that ugliness did not spread out big once I began to um, spin it out. So I'm going to leave you with the music, um, continue to enjoy it. And before I do so, I just want to remind you that I am a Colorado affiliate. And so if you would like to use my coupon code, the Shellrock Art 1121, you can go on the Colorado website and you can um, get 20% off of your whole purchase when you're ordering from the Colorado website. So please enjoy the music and I'll see you at the end of the video. spots right there. I don't see myself being able to spin this anymore. I think I'm done. So a little bit on the red corner. It's not that bad. It kind of offers a contrast to the one side, but still, it's a nice piece. And I'm thankful that I was able to get it on a second go. And this is the largest bloom I've seen. It's a 36 by 36 inches, not centimeters, to be clear. Okay, so now uh, let me kind of take my finger and And then I'm going to take that skewer and kind of make a design inside of the uh, piece. So let me 
wipe my hands off on this little puppy pad I got set up on the table. Grab my skewer and then we'll go from there. Make some modifications in this line here. So, okay, everybody. Um, this is the wet results. I'm holding my phone pretty tightly. Look at all that beautiful, those beautiful cells and how they stretched out. Um, get you in closer, you see there's no um, flocculation or nothing like that. It's just beautiful. And this is, again, a 36 by 36. I'm standing up, this is three feet by three feet. So there you have it. So let me try to get a picture of it in a second, and I will get back to you when I'm done. Let me show you the orientation. I think I like it. I think I like it like that. Okay, so thank you folks. Thank you for watching. This is Sheldon from Sherlock Art, and I say happy pouring and good night.